All right, I got another one. Got a uh, frozen food case here that's iced up on the bottom. Called in as uh, iced up. So we're gonna tear into it and see what we can figure out. All right, so here I've got a frozen case. Fully iced up because we have a plugged drain. So I'm gonna take my hot water and this is where the drain's at right here. So I'm gonna clear out the drain, get the ice out of the way, and then blow out the drain and then hopefully we should have water draining. So that's where the drain is. I'm gonna clear the ice out of it. And then try to force it clear. There we go, so I'll put my hose down in it. And it's going. There it goes. And that's how you fix the case that has a frozen bottom. It freezes up to cause the drain plugs. And the water freezes, of course. And then it just builds up, seizes up the fans, and stops working. So then I start up the edge over here. Once I have the drain working, Start removing all the ice. Hot water. You want to use hot water? Unfortunately, these stores have water up there. Yeah, right up here. It takes a good while to do this, too. Luckily, this was just a plug drain, it looks like, but it takes a while to get all this ice from here. Then you gotta get all the ice behind there. Then you gotta take this off, and there's an air channel back behind that. That you gotta clear that up too. So just some patience and lots of hot water. And it's as simple as that. Pretty cool. Just very time consuming. And then I'm gonna unplug all these fans. I got it in defrost right now. I'm gonna unplug all these fans because most likely it'll come back on. And I gotta make sure these uh, motors don't have water in them so they don't short. So unplug all my fans. to clear the ice that is underneath the evaporator cover and I still gotta do that side way over there I always try to avoid water getting in there as much as possible but you can see these blades are just locked up all of them I have a feeling water did get in there so I'll show you in a little bit what I do about that now I'm starting with this motor, melting around it. Almost loose. There we go. this out and go from the inside kind of squeeze this thing like so take it off get this little thing through it's kind of at an 
angle like that. Uh-huh, kind of was holding the water up in there. Okay, two done, three motors to go. Getting there. Alright. Alright, half the case is looking good. Making good progress. Hopefully y'all getting something good out of this. really just very simple start by finding the drain in this case five doors all covered in ice so I went to the one next to it check the model number model number is the same and here you can see that find the drain because there's no ice on this one in the center very center so that's how I knew where it was on this one so Get the drain clear, melt all the ice, get all the ice back from behind that, and that's what you gotta do first. Gotta get all the ice out first before you can do anything else. All right, taking a lot longer than 15 or 20 minutes. I've already been here for about 45 minutes and I'm just barely halfway through. So be prepared to spend some time. freezers are coming back on. The whole row went into defrost with the computer, so I'm gonna go force them all back into defrost, otherwise it's gonna get even colder in here. You can get away with that as long as you don't have it out of defrost for too long. Then everything will start to melt, but everything's pretty cold right now, so let's go to the computer and uh, force it again. All right, so this is the grocery store microtherm system. So, force it into defrost and find the unit system we're working on it is RAFF 03B which means rack A circuit 3 so let me go over here to main rack A so we're going to zoom in right here go to number 3 setup and we're going to start emergency defrost. Apply changes. Okay. Zoom out. And it is in defrost. See, refrigeration solenoids off. It takes a couple minutes for it to actually go in, but that's how you put a microtherm system freezer case into defrost forced it into defrost. So unfortunately my phone is going dead. It only has 17% and I don't really have a, a efficient way to charge it. So I'm going to end the video here. I'll try to get the rest of it on camera with my other phone. But I have trouble with that phone uploading photos. This LG I have works great. I like it a lot better than the Samsung. Maybe I just haven't figured out the Samsung. but So what I'm going to do with these, I've got a hair dryer out in the car, so if I don't get it on film, what I do is I heat these up real good to where the windings are dry. Defrost just kicked in because I just did it at the computer. Anyways, I'm going to dry all these windings up, put it all back together, reinstall everything, then once I pull this off, get all the ice, because see this is like a layer, this layer goes all the way to the back and like I said there's a little channel back here you gotta be careful about that once you get all the ice out you put it back together start it up 
and as long as you have identified a problem which in this case it was the drain there's going to be no other problems restart it and call it done and uh hopefully i can get the rest of it on camera if y'all stuck with me till now thanks for watching i appreciate it all right so i'm continuing on here with part two i've gotten all the uh ice out and right back here see this uh Right back here, there's the ice right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's the ice back there in the air channel. You've got to, got to melt it. Or you won't have any airflow. It'll freeze right back up. That's probably what a lot of guys get caught up on. So I've got all the fans out. The whole case defrosted. Just working on that air channel back there now. And that's what it looks like when you get all the ice out of that channel. It looks like quite a bit of ice, at least a couple inches thick. So make sure you get all that. Otherwise you'll get a call back. In these grocery stores they don't they don't like callbacks. Lots of ice. I'm gonna get it all. Don't fuck up. All right, that's all motors in. So start it and see if I can get these fans to start. Let's see what happens. Yep, it's running. And there they are. They all work. Cool. This job is done. And then finally just make sure you put all the hardware back in, the screws, these little uh, do it for this one so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for more